I had a lot of things in there. If I was Gore Vidal, I would. All right, let's get into <laughs> the match. Game one, it is Gregson Lucina versus Bonner with, of course, his bayonet. And now I really like Greg's switch to Lucina. I think it suits him. I think it's been working out. Let's see how he does versus uh, Bonner's bayonet here. Yeah, uh, Greg's had a tendency to play characters who had difficulty sealing that kill. You know, Sheik, Fox, he just kept being beaten up by Rage. And here's a character who has an F smash at all times or an up B like that. Dolphin Slash! There we go, they can seal the stock so early so he no longer has an issue with that. But Butter is smiling that off because Bayonetta almost doesn't care about percents, right? At any point, if you feel you're the better player, They'll feel I can still take this. Yeah, man, this it, oh, the stock has already there ended. We go. Oh no! Wow, the magnet hands on that was amazing. That was almost it. Reading that air dodge, though. Oh, now he's down air. I love Greg's use of down air, by the way. Like he uses it way more than most we've This looks pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I overheard a conversation once between uh, Grex and S1, and S1 was saying, uh, "You're doing things with Lucina that I don't see any other Lucina do." Right? Uh, and, and that's true. Oh, there it is, the wind, Sam. Oh, should, should be a stock, but Butter just messes too around slow, on the lens. Too slow, yeah. Too slow when your enemy's in slow mo. How does that feel? And the damage is building up. And Bayonetta, one of her weaknesses is that she's relatively light. Ah, uh, fair enough. Yeah, uh, like a well-placed F smash could kill her at the ledge because this yeah. is smash field. But Butter now has Gex at the ledge Ooh. and accidentally space Becker is gonna seal that stock both at their final stock. Butter still well in this. Yeah, Lucina's love doing their uh, ledge up fair or ledge up neutral B, calling out that uh, standing and shield or whatever. But uh, Butter outspacing it very neatly there. Still, he's in a major deficit. <laughs> Look at Gex's standing still forty for him, slightly misspaced to punish that roll. Yeah, he wanted to call it out. Uh, but again at the ledge this time, uh, need neutral air. And then More out of there, yeah. So aggressive. Woo! And there we go, an F smash taking it. Yeah, on the, on the air dodge too, you know. Maybe you should just mess with witch stand when you get jabbed. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But you can call it out too, and then get a even slightly yeah. charged F smash. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I mean, he went for it this time, so maybe you should try it next time. We'll see. Because if it worked for him now, he'll want to do it again. Unless he's on the next level, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope these players are. In any case, that game was dominated by the early kill from the Uppy and missed that. Yeah, not from the character you'd expect it from, but uh, yeah. well, there you go. Yeah. Oh, Duck Hunt! Still legal here because we need seven stages. Yeah, the only place in the world, basically, where this <laughs> stage is still legal. <laughs> thanks to this man, Gijsbeer. So you can yeah. thank him. Oh, uh, don't worry. We're switching to the European recommended rule set pretty soon. Yeah. As long as they keep... Battlefield and Dreamland separate because I will not stand for such. No, that that's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it really doesn't work. But the thing is, like, if you if you don't have a seven stage, you don't get two bands, and since you need to keep Dreamland and Duck Hunt uh, and Dreamland and um, Battlefield separate, you get the the triplet thing. Was that a taunt from Greg's though? Yes, it was. This man is feeling his lead. What's he gonna show for it? Uh, this this is some classic tree gameplay. I have missed this. I have actually missed this. Yeah, I mean you can do this on Battlefield as Bayonetta. We see Salem doing that yeah, all the time. Yeah, Zanji has been working on his uh, Battlefield camp and games. So. Yeah, and le yet his lead is already gone. Like so it's basically it's wasted a minute of the game for nothing. Yeah, I mean it's only really a problem for Mac and Ganondorf to be honest. <laughs> and you should be playing yeah. these characters. Anyway, like there are plenty of stages to ban when you're playing those guys. Well, Paragon is here playing Ganondorf, excuse me. Well, you can have a lot of fun with Ganon, but you sh shouldn't expect a rule set that works for Ganon Ooh! because the character will stay around. Did you see that deck? You tech that in? Only your duck hunt, baby. Only your duck hunt. I know, right? <laughs> Using the wall of the stage, holding in and teching, knowing that down smash was coming, and now Butter screwed up again, excuse <laughs> my wording, and therefore, well, Greg has a lead, and now he can get a 2-0 yep. right here on Butter, just because Butter died so early twice. Two weeks ago, he 2 0 Butter, or at least he beat Butter as well, and I was considered, you know, quite a nice upset, and it might happen again. And now it might happen again, on Duck Hunt of all stages. Because it's... it's Woohoo! He went for it! <laughs> oh my god, he went so hard. But who cares? He has such a lead. Butter, uh, Grex uh, wants to carry this momentum all the way to the victory. Unfortunately for Grex, there's only one frame of spike on the down air. Yeah. That's so sad. You know what I would like? I would like two extra frames of spike on Lucina's and switch Martha around so that the tipper always spikes and the Sauerspot never spikes. Yep. That would be a nice decloning. 
Which, you know, it is sending a message, if anything. Because... Oh, this is sending a message. Oh, that is sending a message. Go. It's a 2-0. The fresh 